Hi guys, Ryan here, Ion Capital Solutions. So let's talk about pitching for a moment. Now you're gonna see what offer presentations look like, okay, in the offer presentation tool and there's associated video and you can dive into the numbers and the presentation of what it looks like and kind of dig through and help you understand how to go about it. That's all good, well, and wonderful, but there's some things that you need to keep in mind as for the strategy of, of the call itself, okay? So let's dig right in. First of all, silence is key on this call, okay? So when you get an offer in, you don't wanna just email it to the client and, and hope and pray that it goes through, right? We, we need to get on the phone with the client. So email the client, text the client, call the client, right? Say, hey, when can we set up a, schedule, a, a schedule a call for us to, to, to go over the numbers here, right? We do have an offer from the client, so, or from the lender, so we, or lenders or options, right? You should try to go for options for your clients, not just put them in one basket, right? But When's a good time? And then you, you, you email it to them while you're live on the phone. You give them an opportunity to, to look at it for a moment, right? And then you just sit back and wait, pretty much. Um, it's here, here, here's the offer, the, the offer or offers that we've received. Here's the product or products, right, that, that you qualified for, right? Um, please take a moment to read through. I can answer any questions you have. Sit back, give the client a second to digest. Don't start talking a mile a minute because you're freaked out about the call, just relax, okay? Allow the client to digest the material. Even if they say one or two negative things, don't let, don't let it throw you off your game. Let them digest. Don't create obstacles. Don't get insecure and start pointing out how the deal can be beneficial or better. Or whatever. Don't do that. Don't do that, okay? Just wait. Right. And then if the client is like, OK, I've gone through it and, and you asked, do you have any questions? Right. Is there anything? And they say, no, no, it's pretty straightforward. Take it for a win. OK, all I need, all I need is an OK and I'll get the ball rolling here. Right. Take, assume the close, assume the close. Right. If the client decides that, they, that there are obstacles or there are questions, answer the questions. Take your time. If you don't know the answer, that's okay. Tell them that and get right back to them. Reach out to somebody who can support you there, okay? But you'll see in the offer presentation and the calculations how you can go about getting those answers for yourself and then being able to answer those questions as the client's going through it. You should always review the offer beforehand so you understand what's going on, right? Um, but then you help the client understand it. Right? If they ask for time, they need to think about it, that's okay, but follow up. Follow up. Right? Um, don't give the client an open-ended offer. Right? Help them understand, listen, funds are allocated and set aside for this deal. We're making an offer. They're putting together the funds for the deal. Right? Some of you may be syndicating money into deals. Right? If that's the case, it could even be your money in the deal. Right? So money's not going to sit idle on the table. Right? Okay, you need some time, that's fine. Give me a call in a couple days. Let me know if you're gonna do it or not. Right? If not, we have to allocate the funds elsewhere. We can't, can't have money sitting still, right? And it helps the client understand that it's time to do business, right? You wanted money, here it is, let's go, let's get the ball rolling. Right? Not okay, well, the offer's there, let me know if you want it, kind of let it hang in the wind, kind of thing. That's that's gonna go nowhere real fast because they're just gonna shop your offer, try and see if they can get something better out there. You don't don't want to be one of those brokers who have to deal with that, right? So have sharp teeth. Be a closer. Be a closer, right? All I need is an okay, let's get the ball rolling here, right? Oh, they they want it to be a little cheaper, they want to whatever. I'll see what I can do for you. You know, oh, they don't they don't like the daily, they want a weekly. Okay, I'll, we could certainly do that. I'll see what I can do for you. They don't like the weekly, they want the monthly. Okay, again, that's not a problem. I'll see what I can do for you, right? But get it rolling, get the okay, get it moving, right? You don't want it to just sit there. Um, you have got to assume the close. You've got to push them towards that result, towards the end of the call, right? And just act as though things are going according to plan. Now, obviously, if they say, no, this is outrageous, I don't want this, whatever, that's a dead deal, right? Okay, that's fine. If you can try and turn them around, that salesmanship comes into, into play. Help them understand why the product is beneficial to them, right? Remind them of why they contacted you in the first place, what their timeline is, what the value of that money is for them, right? Okay, you wanted $80,000 to do renovations and to, to help you, you know, get this specific piece of machinery or you looked into equipment financing or whatever. With that money, right, with you being able to achieve these tasks, get that equipment, what does that mean for your business? How much money are you going to earn now because of this, right? 
that's why we're doing this. So it's it's really not about you know this this particular product or, or loan or whatever it is, and the interest rate. It's about getting to your end destination. And I can tell you, Mr. Clant, right, based on what we have in front of us, right, best, our ability to place you in the marketplace accordingly based on product or whatever else is telling us that this is what you qualify for. This is what's out there for you. So if you do want to reach that end result, you need this money to get there, right? Let's get the ball rolling. You want better products? I can show you the road to qualification. Building credit with us will improve your credit, right? Having a, a payment schedule where you're not missing payments will help things. Improve um, it, Stability to cash flow, right? No more negative days in the bank statements, whatever it is. An increase to cash flow, right? Because now you're, you're profiting, right? Because you, you got the money you needed to grow your business. This is why we connected. This is what it's going to take for you to get there. If you don't take this money today, you're right back where you started, right? Be a closer, sharp teeth, right? And then understand that the deal is not over. The deal is not over, right? Just because they accept the quote, now the lender is going to go into deep underwriting. They may decide to ask for a different document. They may spot something that's problematic and decide to kill the deal. They might find out that their client's hiding default, right? There's a lot of different things that could be holding the deal up. And so it's important to, to understand that aspect of it, help your team understand that aspect of it, that, hey, the deal's not over until uh, we fund, right? Until the funding call on the wire, right? Until then, um, it's important uh, for us to stay grounded and remember we gotta get to the end here. So the true close, you're not even on the phone for. That's between the lender and the client, right? And the wire of funds, and that's it. Deal funded, right? But this is the structure for your calls. This is the structure for your calls. You have to stand strong, stand firm behind your product. Uh, product. Now is not the time to be uh, nervous, to, to be talking a mile a minute, um, um, to, to be creating obstacles for yourself, for apologizing for the pricing of the product. Now is the time to be strong, to be silent, right? To, to lead, um, and then in the end, right, drive the, the result, right? Important stuff. There is no one script that doesn't work like that. You have to feel out the client, but ultimately, just think about it for yourself for a minute, right? And, and if you were buying from somebody, right? Do you want somebody just screaming at you all this information, right? Or at the end of the day, do you care just whether or not it works for your business, right? And is this a person, right, you can follow who's going to lead you to that end result? Because that's what they're trying to do. That's what they're trying to accomplish is get to the end result to stop talking to you. They don't want to deal with you. They want to get back to business. They hate talking to money lenders. They hate having to pay money for more money, right? You need to help get them over the hurdle to the next step, right? And you can improve qualification and get them better products the next time around, which is true if they listen to what you're saying, right? If they understand how to improve their positioning, their qualification, if they understand qualification in the first place, and you should understand qualification as you're qualifying your clients, you know what it takes, what, what, what A paper, B paper, C paper, and so on, right? Anyway, that's going to do it for this topic. There'll be more on this in the offer presentation. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks.